I studied meditation and enlightenment uh, at a very early age. Uh, I don't know how that happened. It's one of those, I guess, karmic things where at age 13 and 14, I was already reading books um, about Zen Buddhism and really like high-end spiritual meditation stuff. And it resonated with me very deeply. Um, but I didn't start doing the yoga that, that we see as yoga, upward dog, downward dog kind of yoga until um, after I was traveling uh, in Africa and I got uh, a very dangerous, deadly kind of disease there, a, a parasitic infection that w was very difficult for me to deal with. And I, I had a, a renewed vision um, for health that, that if God would give me a chance to be healthy again, I would never let that opportunity go and I, and I would take f complete um, appreciation for that. I would not take that for granted. I had visions of running around, I had visions of being healthy again. And God gave me the gift of, of continuing my life and I came back to Miami and when I came back to Miami I reunited with a very good friend of mine who was already teaching yoga and I followed him into my first yoga class and I just, like, I, like so many people do, I did my first yoga class uh, and I said this is the greatest thing I have ever seen. How could anything be so perfect? And really, from the first day that I did yoga 12 years ago, I, I've been doing it every single day since then. The philosophy that Miami Yoga Shala was founded on is basically the, the sum total of, of what can yoga offer for humanity and, and for human beings. Uh, yoga offers physical benefits that are unrivaled by anything any other form of exercise. But yoga also offers benefits that are in some ways more important, benefits revolving around meditation and, and consciousness and mastery over your mind. And then yoga really has the opportunity and the potential to help people evolve themselves spiritually, learn to realize that they are a divine uh, being um, in their true nature. And so my philosophy is that I want to offer a yoga class that delivers the complete package so that a student comes in to our classes here at Miami Yoga Shala and gets the greatest physical workout but also learns about skills of meditation within their daily life and also has access to some of the deepest most profound and most perfect spiritual truths ever created. To someone who's thinking about doing yoga or who has never tried yoga I, I, I've heard many times before people tell me that, that they're not, they don't come to yoga because they're not flexible or they don't come to yoga because they don't think they're going to be good at it. And, and I always smile and I say, well, of course you're not flexible yet. Uh, how, how would you be flexible if you haven't started doing yoga yet? Uh, this, is why we, this is why we practice yoga, to become more flexible if we're too tight. Uh, and then in some cases to become stronger if we're too flexible. Uh, you know, and, being good at yoga, the only people that are good at yoga are people that have been practicing, that are consistent, and realizing, of course, that being good at yoga does not mean any physical performance. It does not mean you got to get your leg behind your head, or that's not being good at yoga. Okay, being good at yoga means that you're becoming aware of of the role that consciousness plays in the quality of your life. And the fact is that our classes are going to give you the greatest physical workout ever. You're going to become more flexible but that's why we practice and we would never assume that we're going to be flexible before we even start our, our yoga practice. So I want to welcome you to Miami Yoga Shala and to the style of power yoga that, that we teach here. Uh, if you've never come to do yoga before, I want to welcome you even more. Uh, I understand that there's so many kinds of styles of yoga out there and sometimes it could even be confusing or intimidating. But the best bet is just to try a couple different classes and, and see what style resonates with you. Make sure that any yoga class that you take, that you take it easy. Make sure that the teacher knows it's your first time. Make sure that, that you realize that the, that the real truth to yoga is that less is more. That we want to take our time. We want to enjoy the process. We want to have a nice sense of humor and a nice um, patience to the process of getting stronger, getting more flexible, getting healthier feeling more well-being in your life, feeling mastery over your mind, and, and learning how all of these different things, when integrated together, uh, deliver a, a quality of life that is truly blissful.